friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it's Monday so it's meal prep day. Today we are going all out fall and pumpkin palooza. All of our recipes have pumpkin, all of them are fall inspired and all of them are incredible. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I upload a new meal prep every Monday and five videos every single week. Don't forget to check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching where I offer personalized to you macros and calories as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability or if you would like to talk with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things, my recipe website where you will find all of today's meal prep recipes and my Facebook group, Come join us. We would love to have you are all down in that description box. One more thing before we head into the kitchen, there will not be a meal prep this next Monday as I will be on vacation in Hawaii. However, I do have a meal prep playlist. So if you need some great recipes to get you by until the next meal prep, you can find that here on my channel. So let's head into the kitchen because I cannot wait for pumpkin palooza fall recipes. For our fall inspired pumpkin filled breakfast, we're going to do chai spiced pumpkin oatmeal muffins and it's going to have a cream cheese glaze. We're going to amp up the protein a little bit and I'll show you how we're doing that. So let me show you what you'll need. First you're going to need flour. I'm going to use my Kodiak protein flour. Again, just to get in a little bit of extra protein. This bakes just like regular flour. There's no difference in taste and texture, but you get in some protein and it's actually lower point than regular flour as well. Unfortunately, it's no longer available. They discontinued this quite a while ago. I'm down to my last couple of bags, but you can make your own protein flour at home. So I will down in the description box list how to do that with a link for the protein that I use to make my own flour. So you have the option of using a protein flour or you can use regular flour. You'll need milk of your choice. I'm using Fairlife for that little bit of extra protein. One third less fat cream cheese, pumpkin puree, unsweetened applesauce, oats, powdered sugar, and brown sugar alternative of your choice. I'm using Lakanto. That's my go-to sugar substitute. I will link Lakanto down below with a 15% off discount site-wide. So I'm using their powdered and their golden. Baking powder, baking soda, eggs, salt, pumpkin pie spice, and vanilla extract. So to get started on our muffins, you're going to need a large bowl. We're adding one and a half cups of flour, one cup of oats, our pumpkin pie spice, salt, one and a quarter teaspoons of baking powder, and three quarter of a teaspoon of baking soda. And then go ahead and mix that together just to get those dry ingredients fully combined. We're going to add in one cup of pumpkin puree, one third cup unsweetened applesauce, one third cup of Lakanto Golden, about two teaspoons of vanilla extract, two egg whites, And then go ahead and mix all of that together. Don't over mix, just get it to where it's combined. And then we're going to add in one cup of milk and then mix to fully combined. I went ahead and sprayed my muffin pan with some nonstick cooking spray. And then we're going to scoop in 12 muffins. We're putting our muffins into a 375 degree oven for about 20 to 25 minutes or until they are cooked through. While they're in the oven, we'll go ahead and make up the delicious glaze. So I've added three ounces of the one third less fat cream cheese to a bowl. It is room temperature, it is softened. I'm adding a quarter cup of Lakanto powder, half of a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and then we will mix this up. We'll add milk as needed to make the right glaze consistency. So it's a bit thick, still more like frosting. So I'm going to add just a tiny bit more milk. The chai muffins are out of the oven as well. These look so good. They smell amazing. My house is smelling like a pumpkin bakery. I am going to allow these to cool for just a couple of minutes and then we'll add our glaze. And then I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit of pumpkin spice on top. 
And here are the pumpkin chai muffins. These are going to be such a great breakfast this week. I plan on pairing them with some protein, bacon, sausage, eggs, just making a complete breakfast, but still enjoying a good holiday fall pumpkin spiced muffin. For lunch this week, I'm making pumpkin pasta with toasted walnuts and spinach. I'm going to add in some ground turkey as well for some extra protein, but let me show you what you'll need. First, you're going to need pasta of your choice. I just placed a nutrition order for my favorite fiber gourmet pasta. So excited to have that back. I've been trying to use up everything in my cupboard, and this is my last pack of Brahmi pasta. It's okay, but it is a lot higher point in calorie than fiber gourmet pasta, and it doesn't have all the fiber. It does have 21 grams of protein. I, they sent these to me, so I've been using them up, but fiber gourmet is way less points, way less calories about half, it's actually about 100 calories per serving. So I'll link nutrition for you guys so you can grab Fiber Gourmet. You'll need minced garlic, vegetable broth, walnuts, milk of your choice, I'm going to use Fair Life. I'm going to add a pound of 93% ground turkey just so that I can pump up the protein. This recipe actually doesn't have any meat in it because you can actually make this a vegan recipe if you want, but I need to add some extra protein. So a pound of ground turkey, baby spinach, nutmeg, salt, pepper, tomato paste, and 100% pure pumpkin. So the first thing I'm going to do is brown my pound of ground turkey. I have my water coming to a boil to cook my pasta. So my ground turkey is almost all the way cooked through. We're going to start adding in the rest of our ingredients for the pasta, starting with some minced garlic, and then allow that to become fragrant. Then we're adding in one cup of pumpkin, two tablespoons of tomato paste, two tablespoons of milk, one cup vegetable broth, a pinch of nutmeg, and salt and pepper. Stir that in, let everything warm through. Now we're going to add in two cups, two heaping cups or two heaping handfuls of baby spinach and allow that to wilt down. Then we're going to go ahead and add back in our pasta. Stir again to mix and then allow it to simmer for about two to three minutes. I toasted a quarter cup of chopped walnuts for just a few minutes in the oven. Go ahead and add those in. Give it one more stir and our pasta is done. And there is our pasta. This looks so good, it smells amazing. By adding in that pumpkin, we're really getting in a good amount of fiber. We have some healthy fat in the walnuts, tons of protein between the pasta and the ground turkey. I'll go ahead and put serving size, points, calories here on the screen for you. For dessert this week, I'm making pumpkin pie bars with brown sugar oatmeal crust. I cannot wait. Let me show you what you'll need. So I'm going to use my protein flour again. You can always use regular flour or take advantage of the recipe down below and make your own protein flour at home. You're going to need rolled oats, brown sugar alternative. Again, I'm using Lakanto. I will link Lakanto down below with 15% off for you. Unsweetened applesauce, pumpkin puree, chopped pecans, vanilla extract, salt, cinnamon, pumpkin pie spice, baking soda, eggs, and one third less fat cream cheese. So to get started on our dessert, on our bars, we're going to add one and a half cups of flour, one cup of oats, a quarter cup of chopped pecans, one half of a cup of unsweetened applesauce, about a tablespoon of vanilla extract, a pinch of salt, two thirds of a cup of Lakanto Golden, and half of a teaspoon of baking soda. This is a full teaspoon, so I'm only going to do half. And then stir that together. So I went ahead and removed about a cup of the mixture, and then the remaining mixture, we're going to press that into a six by six, seven by seven, eight by eight, whatever you have, sprayed baking dish with some nonstick cooking spray. And you're going to want to press fairly hard. We do want that to be able to stick together and form a solid crust when cooking. It's going to go in a 375 degree oven for about 10 minutes. While it's in the oven, we'll make the pumpkin filling. The crust is in the oven, let's make the filling. So we have four ounces of softened cream cheese. We're going to add in about three quarters of a cup of pumpkin. 
a quarter cup of Lakanto Golden, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, one egg, cinnamon and pumpkin pie spice. And then with your handheld mixer, mix that until combined. And here is the pumpkin filling. We'll go ahead and set that aside. So I just pulled my crust out of the oven. Go ahead and add your pumpkin filling to the top and then spread that out nice and even. And then that remaining cup of the crust, we're just going to kind of crumble that on top. So our bars are going in the oven for about 30 minutes or until they're cooked through. The pumpkin bars are out of the oven. Oh my goodness, my house couldn't smell better with all of these fall foods. I will go ahead and put serving size, points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. joining me for this week's meal prep. I hope you enjoyed all of these fall recipes, all of the pumpkin palooza recipes. Everything is so good. I can't wait to dig in all week long. And don't forget all of today's recipes are on my recipe website. I will link that at the top of the description box along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite thing and my Facebook group. So definitely check out that description box before you go and I will see you in the next one. Bye.